Hi, welcome back. I'm Kathy, and if you're new to my channel, I do food and product reviews. And today I have the Nostalgia Vertical Waffle Toaster. You can make two waffles in your toaster in minutes. No more frozen Eggo waffles. You can make them fresh, but does it work? So let's take a look at the toaster. Okay, just looking at it, it looks like your basic toaster. This is the control level, you know, it pushes down just like any toaster. And we have a defrost button, defrost and toast frozen bread. Then you have the preheat, which brings toaster to temperature for toasty. Then you have the cancel, here's the cancel, that it will just make it pop up. And then the toasting dial, which is here. It says adjust dial to toast sandwich to your preferred doneness from light one to dark seven. And then you see there's also a golden waffle zone, six to seven. But if you look in the directions, it says the golden waffle zone is levels five to seven. So five being less toasted, seven being more toasted. So yeah, so it's like your basic toaster until you add these little things. Those in there. These are the silicone molds. If you look in here though, there's two like grooves. And these fit into those grooves. You gotta make sure both of those are locked in or you are gonna have a big mess. Uh, like I was saying, it's very, very important that you get these locked together tightly or this will happen. <laughs> okay, just so I can show you the total mess that I made. Um, but nowhere in here does it say how important that is to get these locked together. So that's one issue I have right off the bat. Because um, you saw the mess. If you don't have these locked together, it makes a total mess. Another issue I have, it says for the defrost, I showed you the defrost button, it says defrost and toast frozen bread. I was like, okay, great. So you can use this for other things other than just the waffles, right? Um, but you look back here with the cleaning and maintenance. Do not operate toaster without at least one waffle in place. Okay, so maybe they just meant, uh, you know, have something in here. Okay, I can forget that. Never use toaster without silicone mold and drip tray in place. I forgot to show you the drip tray. Look, I already have still crumbs in there. But yes, yeah, so just like any toaster, it has the, the crumb tray. So if you were never to use this without these, maybe they meant if you're going to make a waffle. I don't know. But it almost sounds like it's only used for these molds. I don't know very confused by that but that bothered me and then also the toasting dial it says adjust dial to toast sandwich to your preferred doneness what sandwich what are they talking about um, so after looking more into this um, this nostalgia brand uh, has several products uh, one is a grilled cheese maker which looks similar to the toaster but it has these toasting baskets you stick in here so I don't know you know, if they're talking about the grilled cheese sa sandwich and they just didn't put a lot of effort into, um, into the instructions for this product. I don't know, but it's very confusing. Another thing in the cleaning and maintenance um, in here, it says, I use soapy water to clean toasting basket before and after use. Okay, there's no toasting basket here, it's the molds. So, so they clearly didn't spend much time on this instruction guide, which is very frustrating to me uh, because when people buy this and follow the instructions on here, they're gonna have a mess. So I'll go ahead and make a couple waffles and um, there was another issue that I have that I'll show you. Okay, before we even get started, I'm gonna put this tray under the toaster case it makes a big mess again. I'm gonna do my best for it not to, but we'll see what happens. So it's preheat toaster by pressing down the control level, then pressing preheat button. So press it down, 
and I'm going to hit the preheat. So it does say when you first use this for the first time there might be a um, slight smell and smoke um, and that was the case but it did go away. That said it's normal and will it go away. All right so the sand it is preheated and it took about about 30 seconds. All right so now well, I guess I should have had these together. All right so like I said you have to make sure this is in place. Let's see. And it's not easy to see if you get it together. You can kind of feel in a way. Right. So try to feel the best you can to get it locked. And then you're gonna lock the outside. Just press nice and tight on there. And I'll put this in here. All right. Put them in here. All right, so the directions say, um, when done preheating, the control panel will pop up. Place in silicone molds in the toasting slots and pour in waffle mix into the opening. Do not do that. Do not. Even in here, it shows they are not up, they are down. You want them to be down so the toaster pushes against each side of this so these don't open. If you do it like this, the batter is going to go in and then it's going to expand and open these up. But if you have it down, the toaster clamps them together. Do not pour it in when they're like this. You know what, I'm going to preheat this again since I've been talking. Down. Something else, you don't have to worry about spraying these because they're silicone, they are not going to stick. Scares me every time. All right, so here we go. These are going in, good and tight. Triple check them. All right, I'm gonna put this down. But you can see this. There might be like an air pocket or something that you gotta wait for it to go down in there. See in there better now. Set on seven. All the way on seven. So I do want to show you. Um, I got this one a little full. Uh, it doesn't say how much to pour in. Ugh, another issue I have. It just says don't overfill it so you know it doesn't spill over. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is not good. Not good at all. Oh, jeez. So I'm so, oh <laughs> so I was so worried about it leaking off the bottom. Um, I wasn't thinking about it coming out the top. But shouldn't they tell you, you know, you need a quarter of a cup, half a cup, whatever? I'll try again and I'll measure it. But as long as there's no batter underneath, this will be a success. I'm scared to look though. And there is none underneath. This will not cook. And we're going on like five and a half, oh, it took like five and a half minutes. All right, it says, didn't pop up all the way either. So it says to wait 30 seconds. All right, it's been more like a minute. Like I said, these are cool. And it has this piece here to open it. All right, you can see the spillage there and there. All right, let's see. All right, this does not look like a toasted waffle to me. It says if it's not done, you can put it in back in to toast it. So I will do that. But it's like really soggy. Let's take this one out. Same, same thing. All right, so I'm gonna put on. All right, this 
hasn't popped up yet, but I think they're toasty. Yeah, it's starting to burn now. So they were a little soggy, so they got a little smashed. And they are hot. So my thing is when I've used silicone molds before, when I um, I reviewed some, I don't know, three years back, something like that, I put them in the oven. It wasn't like a top piece, it was just the bottom part. And they never really taste like waffles to me. They tasted, I don't know what they tasted like, but I, I didn't get a waffle. So this is crispy. The inside still seems pretty wet. It doesn't, I don't know, I don't know. So to get it this toasted though, it was in here probably 10 minutes. You might remember I did the um, mini waffle iron a while back and you could have, you probably could have had four waffles done in the time, you know, it take two to get, you know, toasty. And you don't have to worry about such a mess. So yes, the mess at the top was my fault. I overfilled them. I'm so worried about them spilling out, you know, the sides. I didn't really worry about the top. But I'm gonna try again. I have some more batter. I'm gonna measure it this time. I can't believe, I cannot believe. Nowhere does it say how much you should pour in. Oh, I'm so frustrated with this thing. So it's just ready, so. We'll put them in and remember what I said. Do not leave them like this. But before I have a half a cup here, so I'm gonna see. And no, I didn't buy this pink measuring cup. Uh, I got it free with something. So. All right, so I'll push it down. I said this is a half a cup. like a half a cup exactly. Why couldn't they have told me that? So, half a cup. Half a cup works. See this? Half a cup. Too much. I am so frustrated. Probably a third would be better. Like I said, this is a little under a third of a cup. Last time I did half. Nope. Oh, almost forgot. Push it down first. Pull these out. I'm about to throw this thing out the window. Seriously. good thing um, that happened this time I reviewed it was nothing came out the bottom that was the first time I have did it a few other times um, and they came out the bottom I, I still cannot believe in these directions it doesn't mention that at all at all and when I first did this I left it up and that's when it expanded and and opened up and ran all over the place. I cannot believe that is not in the instruction. It, it just baffles me. Um, but like I said, I did, it didn't spill out the bottom this time. It run over the tops. I am just so frustrated with this thing. Um, and if it was an amazing waffle, you know, maybe it would be worth all the work and the risk of this running out the bottom but it's not even the best waffle I've ever had. I think you really need a traditional waffle iron to get that waffle texture and flavor. Cause like I said, in the middle, it still feels, it's wet, feels soggy. Uh, what to say about this thing? I paid $29.99 on Amazon. Not worth it, not worth it. A true waffle lover isn't gonna like this. Um, and if you're not a true waffle lover, uh, you'll probably be fine just getting Eggo waffles to begin with. 
you know, I try to find the good in all these products, somewhat good. I mean, I guess it would probably be okay as a toaster, but uh, for a basic toaster, are you gonna pay $29.99? Probably not, I hope not. So when I first saw this product on Amazon, I was just scrolling through looking, looking for new things to review, and I saw this and I was like, I need to review that. And you know, the stars, it had like, the rating was like four and a half stars, I believe, which was really good. Um, I didn't read any of the reviews because I was, uh, I didn't want it to sway my opinion of it. Uh, but after the first time I used it, I'm like, okay, am I doing something wrong? So I went back and I looked at some of the reviews. So when I was reading the reviews, I'm like, these reviews don't make sense. They're not even talking about the same product. So then I realized like up at the top, you can, um, like where you can pick size or color, or whatever, uh, you could pick a different model of this. But when you click the different model, it was actually the mini waffle iron they have, like the dash one that I did. And that's what people were reviewing, and that's what the four and a half stars were for, not for this. I didn't see any reviews on this at all. So to me, that was a little deceiving that that was all put together. Two separate products. Even if you see four and a half, five stars or whatever, read the reviews and see, make sure it's the right product they're even talking about. So, lesson learned. If you have this product and you love it, great. But for me, it is a big thumbs down. Starts with a big thumbs down with this instruction guide. You know, I ho almost hope the company watches this and will do something about it because I hate to see someone spend $29.99 on this product that doesn't have good instructions. It's just, it's just so frustrating to me. So if you have used the vertical waffle toaster, please let me know in the comments below. And that brings me to the question of the day. All right, you can only keep one, you can only keep one of these. Waffles, French toast, or pancakes, which one do you keep? French toast, hands down, love, love, love French toast. Which one would you keep? Let me know in the comments below. I'm not gonna ask if you like this video. You know, if you don't, hit the thumbs down. If you do, hit the thumbs up. I'm just, <laughs> I'm so over this. <laughs> anyway, anyway, if you haven't subscribed, please think about hitting that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe, and I will see you next time. Bye.